Two teams taking on a mammoth journey for one pair of VIP match tickets. From the fan hub office in the city centre of Bristol, our teams must complete challenges and race across the UK to earn a VIP ticket to a match in Aberdeen. Sounds simple. To make it a challenge, teams must not use the same mode of transport back to back. And if they do, they'll receive a time penalty. And the teams? Our first duo is Team Sam, consisting of myself and TikTok's biggest non-league fan, Bucket Hat Sam. We'll be going up against Pete Bock and Fan Hub's social media guru, Ollie. Right, gents. Two envelopes here. We're going to flip a coin and you get first pick of these envelopes. None of you know what's in these envelopes, but these envelopes will decide your day today. Pete, as you're our Fan Hub employee, you can pick heads or tails. Tails never fails, mate. It's ah, good. Good. It's <laughs> a good start. It's a good start. So it's Sam, like like which one do you fancy? Actually, I didn't want to do this. Um, <laughs> it's my fault now. Team one. I'll go team, team one. one. Team one. Team two. Well, okay. we're on the road now, boys. Let's see how it goes. It was now time for the teams to split off and find out their fate in their envelopes. So we are team two, Holly. Um, let's see. You've got a train to catch. Jump on the 10.35 to Derby. When you're not too far out, open your next envelope. Bristol Temple meets to Derby. Decent. You better get on with it. Better get on with it, mate. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, actually. It's yeah. proper, so I've actually been with sunglasses. We've got lucky, that's for sure. And it's only a couple of hours from here to Derby, so pretty simple. We've got a nice little stop off point there. Do some challenges and then move on, so yeah. Let's get into Almost it. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Oh no. Up the gas, but don't use any right now. Buy bike or scooter, get yourself to the Memorial Stadium, home of Bristol Rovers. When you get to the Mem, open your next envelope. That's, that's not bad. That's not too bad. That's I don't mind bad. that. I don't mind that. I don't that's have to do anything it's, stupid. It's the short journey. No, this is good. Right. Yeah. Let's, we'll take let's that. Go. Let's get away let's to the go. Mem. Go on let's then. Go. I'm buzzing. I'm just getting on a scooter. That's what I'm most excited <laughs> about. I'm a big kid. Lisa's not too busy right now. I was going to say. I don't yeah. want to get like rush hour traffic going through the city on a scooter. I don't know Probably if the video, ideal. video won't start well as well if I stack it within the first two minutes. <laughs> Slippy surface, I'm getting a little bit nervous now. Bucket hat goes flying. I was going to say, I'm already <laughs> grabbing onto it, it's a bit windy. <laughs> Alright, some scooters so, over there, let's go for them. Let's go. Both teams are on their way, but one journey was a little less comfy than the other. These things are bloody rapid! <laughs> Every pothole is flying. <laughs> Never again. Never again. I'm not taking the mic never again. I'm gonna call out three people now we're here. <laughs> One, fan hub, because Book Out Sam nearly just never existed anymore. Two, Bristol Council, sort out your potholes. That was like a slalom then, I was like skiing. And then third, bus drivers. They were out for me in that journey, honestly. I'm never going near one of them, I need my phone, but I'm never going near one of them again. That was actually horrible. <laughs> I don't know about you, I'm genuinely, I'm actually, oh no, I can't do that again. That that it's ruined, fun. I've ruined skiing that. The skiing, <laughs> ski, I can't even speak, ruined scooters for me. I loved these before. With the team now at the Memorial Stadium, it was time for their first challenge. Sam, you have 15 minutes to hide fan hub stickers around the stadium, then the hunt begins. The only clue Sam can give <laughs> is if they are hotter or colder. Okay, let's go. Where can I hide this for Sam? Hmm, let's have a look. This might be it, just, just underneath the stand here. These will be back in stock soon, by the way. I had to beg and borrow for these as well. It's not just you guys that are wanting these, I want them as well. Whilst I was hiding the final sticker in the Thatcher's Terrace, Pete and Ollie were making good progress on their way to Derby. I feel like I'm being classically British, I can't get over the how busy it is, but it says. Are, where's everyone going? Where are all these people going? Someone had to coordinate it. 58's over there. Oh, I'll be right. getting involved now. No worries. <laughs> what a legend. A man of the people, is Ollie. A man of the people. Back in Bristol, the sticker hunt was underway. I've got to say, you're getting hotter. That's good. You are? We are talking about the game. It's yeah, not, you don't like this hoodie, do you? <laughs> it's the hat, actually. It's the hat, isn't it's it? It's the hat. It's yeah, the hat. Take the hat off and you, I can you go down, <laughs> go down one on the scale, I reckon. Well, I don't know why I'm looking at there. You're not going to get up there. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's found it. There Early doors. Keeping it lemon as well. <laughs> go on. 
Right, I need to get some of these stickers after. I need to give it one of them. <laughs> Am I getting distinctively colder when I go this you way? You are, yeah, it's... Right, okay, so we're going back this way. I've got way, frostbite then. right now, frostbite, I'll be honest. Frostbite, jeez. On the back. <laughs> I actually am blind. You're giggling to yourself, having so much fun here, and it's really rough, <laughs> isn't it? There it is. <laughs> there it is, there it is. Looks like a beer mat as well, that's class. <laughs> Let's have a look then, shall we? Right, I'm gonna walk across the front, do a little scan. Where would you put, if, if I was putting a sticker, where would I put it? That's not, I thought that was a sticker then. Uh, yeah, but only if one That's these lot, have you seen a sticker anywhere? <laughs> yeah, they'll take you to the one you've already I seen. I was gonna say, the one I've found like three times. <laughs> Is this, is, this, is this it? This is it. Amazing, fan of <laughs> I was going to ask them if they're not bottled it. I just realised how just... <laughs> how random yeah. that would be. By the way, have you seen any stickers? Yeah, yeah loads. Exactly what I'd have done. I'd have just looked at me and just gone, what the hell are you on about? <laughs> just do it. Right, we've done it. Yeah, right. Next envelope, I think. Whilst we'd finally finished our first challenge, Pete and Ollie were making really good progress on their way to Derby. Right, we're supposed to be in Derby in 38 minutes. And on the next leg, it better not be this bloody busy. <laughs> Can't be. Surely. Surely there's not hundreds and hundreds of people going wherever we're going. Wherever we're going. <laughs> Back in Bristol, it was time for the next challenge. Right, okay. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. I'll see you in my dreams. Rovers fans have sung this since the 50s. Now it's your turn. Give your best rendition in the terrace. <laughs> yeah. You've done me. Yeah. You've stitched me up. <laughs> Can we just pretend I've done it? Do we have to? Oh, no. So he's just setting up the camera, about to do the chant. And I've just seen, bearing in mind, empty stadium, of course, there is three people over here that are about to hear me butcher their favourite chant. What? This is... Oh, no. All right, three, two, one. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. I'll see you in my dreams. Hey! <laughs> they loved it. There we go. So we got some anyone. support there. Let's go for it. Final envelope. Pete, you're getting battered, by the way. <laughs> We're on a roll. One task to go. Recently, Rovers unveiled a mural of legend Marcus Stewart. Find and get a selfie with it. Let's go. Done it already? Yes! <laughs> For context, we've walked about 20 <laughs> steps. It's a minute and a half into filming. I can't even see Marcus, where is he? There he is. There he is. There we go. Perfect, keeping it lemon as well. <laughs> as one team completed their challenges, another was about to start theirs as Pete and Ollie arrived in Derby. Right, we've arrived in Derby, so it's time to open up the second envelope and see, well, we're kind of guessing that we're going to Pride Park, but let's see, let's see. Up the Rams, yes. Uh, get yourself to Pride Park for a series of challenges. Okay, <laughs> let's go and do that. Come on, Molly. Well, we wanted to take those scooters. We couldn't find any e-scooters, so we're having to walk, which isn't too bad. It's only about 15 minutes, but it's so unseasonably hot. I've only got a t-shirt on. You've got a bloody hoodie underneath that as well. Man alive, this is so, so uncomfortably warm. Up the hub. All right, here's the next uh, thing we've got to actually do. We're here, Pride Park. Welcome to Pride Park. This place has the largest attendance in League One. That's a lot of bums on seats. Well, team, you have five minutes. It's on 100 seats each. Go. Um, thank you to seat 139. Let's go, five minutes. I also can't unlock your phone, so I have no idea if oh, we've done it in five minutes or not. We will, we will. <laughs> I feel like it's been about three and a half. Right, here we go, come on. Push, push, push. That's one, that's one. Oh, I'm gonna lose me. Oh, headphones. I've lost it the last hurdle. Oh. No, no. Oh, he, he's done it. Well done. Yes. 100 each. Man, I'm out. Oh my gosh, that was not good. <laughs> Thank you, that was five minutes, wasn't it? Surely. Whilst Pete and Ollie's legs were burning, Sam and I were about to find out our destination for the evening. You've been gassed up, get yourself to Bristol Parkway, you've got a train to catch, and it's a long one. See you in Edinburgh tonight. <laughs> right, we need to move. <laughs> it's a long journey, but we need to move. <laughs> While it was straight into a cab for us, 
Pete and Ollie were flying through their challenges at Derby. Numero cuatro en español. Derby manager Paul Vaughan loves a bu bubble at. And so does Fan Hub. Yes, get a group pick pitch side in the Fan Hub bubble. Well, I've already got it on, so that's awesome. Uh, where's well, good? Right here on the beautiful ram. There we go. Well, we've absolutely smashed that one to be first. So on to the next one, number five, the final challenge. Okay, we are brilliant at this, mate. There's two statues at Derby. Get picks with them both. I might have a sneaky feeling where one is. So, we obviously saw this one, but I don't know what it is. There's Bloomer. You're a good guy, Bloomer. Number one, found. Things couldn't have been going better for Pete and Ollie, but for Sam and I, disaster had struck. Um, we have just had the biggest nightmare of all nightmares. So it turns out our tickets were not in the folder because kindly, Trainline didn't send them. Now, yeah, we, we haven't to get another train. It may not seem it, but the vibes are still, yeah. the morale's still high in camp. We, we, the morale dropped a little bit. We got a bit stressed. When he hit the train line worker, yeah. that was probably when it dipped the most. When he, <laughs> right hook. <laughs> Left hook jab. <laughs> For legal reasons, that's a joke. What I love as well, they can tell it's a joke the way you just fought then as well. If you'd have gone like that, then yeah, it would have been a bad. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we've got a train now. It's in about half an hour, so we've got a bit of time to kill. Despite missing the first train, it was still a really close race. But missing our train meant we had to take a connecting train, which ultimately broke the transport rule. This means Sam and I had 10 minutes added to our total time. Meanwhile, Pete and Ollie were about to complete their challenges at Derby. Just have the statue in the background, that'd be great, thank you. Thank you. Well, we kind of already worked out that we're going to the train station because I can't imagine we're gonna go and get a coach from Find out possible. E scooter. <laughs> it's back to the station for you. And a mega journey ahead. You're off to Edinburgh for the night. Train is a 2.5. Better get a move on. Class! Have you been to Edinburgh? Once. When I was a kid. Can't remember it though. Oh, lad! I've not been football there, but I've been to Edinburgh a couple of times. Absolutely brilliant. It's an amazing city. It's really right. cool. What's the time? Two o'clock. 45 uh, minutes. 45 minutes. We better get a move on. Well, yeah. Now the race had really begun. Pete and Ollie's train would take them directly to Edinburgh, while Sam and I had one more change in Carlisle. It was going to be really close. Right, it's the first test of air. It's fan fuel. It's 310 as well, so I think that's respectable. Yeah, any time after midday. Let me get the. They will be back in the store soon, I do promise. <laughs> Well, Angel. Lovely. That's what we needed for this journey. Oh, I can relax now. <laughs> Sorry if you were hoping for any um, lovely shots of the countryside on our way up to Scotland. This is our window seat. Oliver, Peter, <laughs> cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Generally really nice to be fair. As Sam and I made our change at Carlisle, the day one finish line was in sight, and both teams were about to find out where it was. Welcome to Scotland. Now it's time to really race. The first team to Hibs Easter Road wins day one. I'm tired. I can't make another decision because my head will explode. Let's put it on Instagram. Yeah. Ask the viewers to decide where we go. Knowing my luck, whatever I pick. You can't even be delayed in the taxi, but we'll, yeah. they'll, they'll be away. We'll yeah. break down, we'll get hit by a bus, something will happen. <laughs> let's put it out on Instagram and ask people. Right, let's do it. We'll do. Thankfully for us, the viewers had decided on an Uber. But Pete and Ollie had a similar idea too, so we went ahead and booked ours in advance in an attempt to get ahead. With both teams now in Edinburgh, it was a race between two Ubers to see who would make it to Easter Road first. Every time your thing goes off, every time you get a message, I'm like, that's going to be a picture of Sam, isn't it? So, <laughs> yeah. Um, like, literally every time you've done that. Where are you? Stop it. Like, yeah. Where are you within your hours? How long does this journey drive? It's six minutes. Six minutes, perfect. We are so close now. We're so close. Uh, yeah, well, we'll just probably head for the club shop or the main reception or whatever's. Uh, I mean, reception, I'll drop you there because there's a car park there as well. Thank you. We've made it. We're so close. Yep, yeah, cheers, let's see you later. Right. 
We're here. Come on. Thank you, Cheers, boss. Mate. Cheers, mate. Have a good night. Oh, great. Northeast. Exit northeast. So that's going to be the northeast stand. They did the east stand, isn't it? And we wanted the west stand. Yes, sir. The other side, then. Oh, we? my God, it's the other side. <laughs> Up the hips. I don't know if there's like. Have we got a number? Oh, I haven't. Oh, I haven't. Right, there's a little road down by that ticket office <coughs> there. Oh, hello. Someone's here. Someone's on the other side of the door. Hi, guys. Hello, how are you? Okay? Yeah, good job. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've raced from Bristol and I think we've won. Perfect. This one, thank you. <laughs> Sam. Sam, Pete, lovely to meet you, mate. Love to meet Ollie. Okay. Yeah, good, thanks. Whilst Pete and Ollie enjoyed a guided tour of Easter Road, Sam and I were minutes behind. I'm getting nervous, I feel, I, I feel like we have. Nash, <laughs> surely not, not after missing that. Are we supposed to go in? I've got a number to ring. Welcome to the O2 <sighs> We might have to ring Pete. How are you, Sam? Hello, I, I'm well, how are you? Well, we're really good, thank you. you? Um, I'm outside uh, Easter Road, where are you? Oh, okay. Well, uh, you've, you've beat us there then, mate. No, we haven't. Yeah. Nah, he's having a son in here. Is he still on the phone? He's yeah. still on the phone. Right, he's trying to find a Oh, f <laughs> 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 oh dear. I don't, want, I don't want to go in. I don't want to go in. Hey! Hello! How's it going all that, mate? Oh, I, I want to cry. Getting, uh, I want to actually cry. Hi, Sam. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you too, Day mate. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you, mate. Congratulations. Congratulations for getting here. Brilliant. Thank you. Brilliant. Well, we won, mate. We won, as they expected. Won. Um, yeah. Sam and Sam. <laughs> Unlucky. All right, so... Um, congratulations on winning the race. You now have received 10 free pints! <laughs> congratulate. Oh, congrats, sorry. The race is in your hands. For tomorrow's trip to Aberdeen, we have two times tickets for a train or coach. Seeing as you won, you get first pick, train or coach. I mean, surely the train is quicker. I know, I feel like it might be close, you know, because the, the train might have a lot of stops and the coach might be pretty direct. I'll leave, I will leave the final decision down to you. Okay, please. Okay, I'm going to base this on British transport bathrooms and choose the train, as I believe a coach will be rather minging. To Aberdeen today. Weirdly, I'm feeling confident. I know we lost yesterday, but I don't think there'll be much in it. I think it'll be close. We'll find a way. We will. It'll be fine. We've got to make the video interesting somehow, haven't we? We'll make this a race. We'll, we'll catch up. Up Team Sam. And up the hub. Don't forget that. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, it's a big trip today. Fresh. We're fresh. Yeah. Enjoy your breakfast, Pete. Beautiful bit, yeah. Lovely breakfast, yeah, full of sugar now, and um, ready to get on a train. Yeah. Well, may the best team win, and that team is, is us. Oh, that, that breakfast tastes a lot of victory. <laughs> uh, I've got a good feeling for today. Our first victory of the day, yeah. first of many. We, need, we just need one win, that's all we need, yeah. it's going to happen today. See you later. See you. See you on the other side. Aberdeen, beautiful, beautiful city. You know what though, it's a good sign, because Pete was still sat there eating, and we're making our way. Mentality monsters. Yeah, so surely they must be leaving later. Yeah, I've done a 10k run this morning. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're the ones starting with the energy. While Sam and I were on our way to the coach station, Pete and Ollie were on their way to catch the train. And yeah, we just got to walk to the train station. It's literally five minutes away. Bit of a shame to leave Edinburgh because it's such a lovely place here. I really do love it here, but I'm with the race. Yeah. I've got to get there first, mate, because... It's going to be close. We did all that yesterday and it's going to be close. I still feel like they're, they, it could be the double bluff. Why would you have coach and train? It's a double bluff, I'm telling you. As Sam and I got to the coach station, it was disaster once again. You're waiting on the 920 and 92 your bus will be delayed because I know the bus is doing the run. You'll be coming from the yard, you'll be here before 10 o'clock, okay? 
So remember that positive mentality. Yeah, it's currently been 10 minutes since we said we went in and we're already delayed. Yeah. Right, energy's high, morale is high. Let's hope so it. high right now. Little do the train guys know, you leave Edinburgh before them. Well, that's what we thought. <laughs> we don't need to touch on that. Enjoy the head start while it lasts. This is it's rubbing it in now, I'm going to rip this up. Yeah. When you get to Aberdeen, it's a race to the Sir Axe Ferguson statue. Good luck. If we get to Aberdeen. We, we, yeah, that's if we get to Aberdeen. Um, cheers. This, this is like, it's taken the that, mic. That's an insult, that. I know it wasn't, it was written before, but this is really rattled me now, so. <laughs> Really in the end, there was no head start for Sam and I. Pete and Ollie were already on their train and on the way out of Edinburgh. Well, we made it, mate. <laughs> Plenty of people getting the badge in. Quite a few people will be travelling as a wave band. The guy at Hibs did say um, that they don't travel well. So, yeah, expecting a pretty good atmosphere. See if any chance of stuff get going, don't know. Whilst it took until 10 o'clock to even get on the coach, Sam and I still wanted to get into Pete and Ollie's heads. That will get in their heads, will it? Well, he said, just... we can tell that you're nervous, lads. That'll do. Yeah, I might drop a little lion in later and just say we're absolutely flying. They've just they've cut out one of the stops or something. <laughs> That's what I'm going to have to say. Yeah. Just received this message from Sam. We can tell that you're nervous, lads. <laughs> yeah, Ollie doesn't look very nervous at all. I'm not. I'm sitting pretty comfortable. And in truth, they were sitting pretty comfortably. Whilst we were just leaving the coach station, Pete and Ollie were miles ahead. We know we're losing. We know it's done. It's this morning. It's, it's different. But as we said, we bring the ball. Yeah. No, we should have been arriving about the same time. We both thought we could win today as well. I still think we would have. Even though we pretty much accepted defeat. Pete and Ollie were none the wiser. For them, it was just a case of getting from the train station to Pitodri on foot. Right, situation. We've arrived in Aberdeen. Our train was 12 minutes late. So we've now got to bomb it down here. We have located where the statue is, which side of the ground it's on, so we know which pit we're going to get to. It's going to be close. <laughs> it's going to be really, really close. 33 minute walk. We're going to try and get that down as quick as we can. Ready? Yeah. Come on, then. Right, check it in. Come on. Turn four when it's into two. Come on. Where is it? Is it? <laughs> This is the south stand. This isn't even. Guys, you can look and pick a big face then. Where's the Sir Alex Ferguson statue? This is in the front. Oh, thank you. Round the bottom. Okay, thank you. Where is it? Where's the statue? There it is. Oh, oh. We've done it. Well done, mate. Well done. Ah, bring it in before the picture, come on. Well done. Well done. Right, well, who are we now? For all we know, they're here. Yeah, they've got a pie or something, but... Done. Here we are. At this stupid statue. Uh, brilliant statue, just... Yeah, I said when I got here... He always hated Alex Ferguson, and then because he retired, I kind of let it go, right? 100%. And I've hated him for the last hour. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Is now that... I like him again. Is that a taxi? It's not them. All right. And that was that. It was a win for Pete and Ollie, who were about to enjoy a director's experience at the club. But Sam and I were still on the coach. Hello? You okay? Well, I may, I may as well just do it. Oh no. There he is. There's Maggie. Sorry. Not really. really sorry. <laughs> Where are you, mate? We're still on the coach. 40 minutes delay on our coach. Oh my. Oh.
We got we got a slight delay, but only like five minutes or so. Again, we got here about 12 minutes late. 40 minutes is massive. Can I throw something at you that you will enjoy? Go on, man. At least you two are the real match-going football fans. Yes, yes. exactly. Exactly. Like proper like fans. Proper, proper fans. fans. Enjoy your prawn sandwiches. I can't deny it, can I? Right. Anyway, Pete. Enjoy. Have a good one. All right, mate. Hub the hub. See you later. As Pete and Ollie were enjoying their fancy food and bumping into Neil Warnock. We had finally arrived in Aberdeen. We jumped on some bikes and headed to the ground for the proper Scottish football experience. Wow, that was <laughs> long <laughs> and cold. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. We, we haven't even able to see Pete and Ollie because they've already in the director's box. It opened at two. We were expecting to be here at half 12. We're too late to even be able to do our full thing. What we were supposed to be doing was putting both pictures up in the, the toilet. To be honest, I'm quite glad we, are, yeah. we missed that. Yeah. It's been a long old journey, but we've made it. We've got a football match to enjoy. We're amongst it. We're the proper we're fans. We're amongst the fans. Let's get some points. Yeah. Let's get some food. Let's, let's actually enjoy ourselves. Let's get a big one. Go on then. Yeah, up the hub. I feel like we're amongst the, uh, the younger supporters. I was going to say that, or no one was just doing a good in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not quite with the ultras, but they're doing their best, bless them. That's what I'm saying. I don't mind it. I don't yeah, mind nor, it. nor do I. Ben! Ben! It's not looking good, Ben. It's not good, is it? Surrounded the keeper, Pete. I hate keepers, all keepers. Aberdeen! Aberdeen! Go on. Go on. Yeah! Yeah! Go on. Go on, you red. Go on, Dave. In the director's box, Pete and Ollie weren't quite having the same experience as us. One, but in the director's box, you're not actually allowed to film. So, um, unfortunately, not a lot of angles from us here. Uh, it is a padded seat, though, isn't it? It's it is a padded, padded seat. seat. Uh, we've watched about 40 minutes of the game, which has been actually pretty good. Met some very, very nice Sam people. Sam was somewhere yeah, the yeah. They didn't meet the mayor of Aberdeen, did they? <laughs> no, no, they did not. They didn't get free beer. <laughs> awesome, Matt. Um, a great two minutes, and then not much else happened. The only other thing, and the main thing that happened, you would have seen the fan of that on those advertising boards, because we are the fan loyalty rewarded partner of Aberdeen Football Club. Yes, that's right. And I'll be delighted to announce we've partnered with both Hibs and Aberdeen to give app users exclusive rewards and opportunities from their football club. Club shop vouchers, tickets, meet the squad, you could even play on the pitch. All available within the fan of app. Right, let's get back to the second half. Let's go! Hey. 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 We're checking it, mate. Second half started. Up the hill, by the way. <laughs> um, it's been really good. Two all. Junior Hoyles just come on. Neil Warnock and Junior Hoyles. What a time oh, we live in. It's 2024. Brilliant. Uh, it's alright. I've just got. If you pan the camera, it's a bloke on top of the stand here. Yeah, no, yeah. What's he doing up there? What's he throwing? He's throwing food to the birds. What is he doing up there? 
what? What is? So yeah, if we miss a goal, so we're watching a man throw. Food to a bird at them. <laughs> and that was the game. Pete and Ollie gave a review, which we can't play because there's copyright music in the background. But after that, the teams finally met outside the front of the ground for one last time. Well, gents, um, this was an hour as expected to see you. <laughs> <laughs> what time did you actually get here? It was about one, one hour. Yeah, like maybe just after. Yeah. So, because we got here at two o'clock, gone two o'clock. Oh, okay. At least over an hour. Yeah. Like, you had a 40 minute delay though, right? Yeah. With and the e-bikes e as well, yeah. Yeah, the e-bikes were like... My oh. hands, I can only just feel them from that. It was Did horrible. <laughs> Honestly, razzing it around, I was thinking, that I can't feel it You've been on an e-bike. Yeah, we, we've, we've just had a, made a day of it, haven't we? Excellent. The walk was beautiful. It was lovely. Very uphill at the start. Because I mean, we thought you might have been close. Yeah, he was we, getting we, me to run. I nearly collapsed. Yes! Because yeah, we, we, we put the messages in the chat, right? Making you think, we want you to run. I looked at where the statue was. Yeah. I went, right, don't go to where the Google Maps tells you to go on that side. Go to where it is. And I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so we were all the way over there on the complete opposite side. And I'm like, Ollie, where is it? Where is it? And that's where the panic came in. Yeah. I'll be honest, right? That's where panic came in. And I started to jog. And we had to ask stewards, ask even like some little kids were asking like, where is it? And I genuinely ran. His, his fitness needs some work, but well, yeah, ran, <laughs> ran saw, saw, saw it. And then, uh, but even mine's not great. Saw it. And even now, it still took me like probably five minutes before I properly believed that you hadn't yeah. got here yeah. first. That's class. Now that we were probably in Dundee at the time, right? Yeah, yeah. It's literally, it's literally like an hour and a half. In in what a journey, gents. What a journey. Well, yeah, no, change. honestly, fair play. Cheers. Thank Sam, you very much. good to Sam. meet you. And, and thank you for being part, being part of the. Uh, it's about taking part in yeah, yeah. matters, really. We didn't want to win anyway. And we were the proper fans. We had the atmosphere. You had your prawn sandwiches. We had the pitodry pie. But we had a good time. Exactly. It was a good the game. game. The game was brilliant. We got to see Junior Hoylett and Neil Warner <laughs> at a match yeah. in 2024. And that's an, an important moment yeah. in our Football's football. the winner, remember that? That's all I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I, mean? I think that's a wonderful way to sign off, boys, isn't it? Yeah, what a lovely journey. That was brilliant. That was we made journey. friends along the way. <laughs> Yeah. Shout oh, out to everyone who organised it. Thank you very, yes. very much. Thanks well, 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 well,